G'day guys, Greg with GTS. Uh, we've been asked how to order a pressure gauge. There's quite a number of different uh, things to make sure when you're ordering a pressure gauge. It's no such thing as a standard, so we'll go through them. You can have the size, so you could have a 40 mil, you could have a 50 mil, you could have a 63 mil, you can have a 100 mil, you could have a 160 mil. You can also get bigger gauges than that, but uh, we don't carry them, they're special order. You can have your gauge, the thread coming out the bottom, or you can have it coming out the rear of the gauge. The thread can be a brass wetted parts or internals or an all stainless steel. So the case is stainless steel. The threads are different on these two gauges. You need to check what type of thread. These are both quarter BSP but this is a G quarter and this is a BSP tapered. So this one's parallel and this one's tapered. This gauge here is a safety pattern gauge. You can see that the case is slightly thicker and that's because there's a baffle wall behind the dial and the whole back of this gauge can blow out. Same with this turret gauge made with a poly case. It's designed to blow out backwards if it's over pressurized so that it doesn't blow into the operator's face. When you have a rear entry gauge, there's three ways to mount. They can be direct mounted, they can mount with a clamp or we can push a three hole front flange on the gauge. For a bottom entry gauge, you can always have a rear flange. So we get a flange welded and that's screwed into a, a wall. You can also get your gauges standard glycerine filled. Uh, some low pressure gauges, you might want to keep them dry or depending on the chemicals that you're using, you might need your pressure gauges dry. So there you go. Uh, just a couple of the options. There's more, but they're the basic ones. And if you're not sure what you need, give us a call and we'll help you uh, choose the right pressure gauge for your application.